Hello, vinyl community. Alex back again. I'm going to sit back a little bit because it was chopping off the top of my head. Um, what's going on, vinyl community? Alex back again with another video. Jenny in the background, as always. I just waved. They saw. I know. Um, I'm that bit out. I didn't introduce you properly, so. It's just me. Yeah. Um, so. The very soon to be wife. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's it? What's it? Four weeks, this? four weeks from when we're filming this. Four or five weeks from when we're filming. Something it's like that. It's actually just under four weeks. There you go. But it's not quite three weeks yet. Okay. And um, here I am, looking like a hot mess with this beard. Oh my god. Minus the hot. I was gonna say. <laughs> I mean, no offense to you. I love you very dearly, and I am marrying you in less than a month. But um. You don't look hot with that beard at all. No, I definitely don't. Scruffy, yeah. Mm. It will go soon. I just need to be bothered to get rid of it. Anyway, um, um, I was going through some of my old videos, um, a few days ago, and I actually sort of realised there was a franchise that I, I started but never finished. Um, so it was. Start to, it, it was just a series of videos going through your favorite albums of each year of the 80s. Um, I believe this was started by Vinyl Richie when he started the thread of nine, 1980. <laughs> That's a good thing, <laughs> it is, yeah. Yeah, I got it. Well, you know, yeah, mm. yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> Sorry, I just I got it, and I was really happy that I got it. <laughs> I usually do. And then um, Andy Borders from Andy's Vinyl Den. Do you remember Andy's Vinyl Den? We miss you, man. It's been a while since Andy's made any videos, but anyway, um, he continued it on throughout throughout the eighties and kind of finished it with at nineteen eighty nine. I jumped on board with that thread. Um, but I never finished it. I think I got up to 88 and then stopped because at the time... Oh, I'm so sorry. Kicked me in the back. I'm so sorry, I was just trying to... And that is fine. Um, but yeah, at the time, I think I only had about five or six albums from 1989. So I didn't do the video. And so, I, instead of just... Instead of just going back and doing my 1989 video... Um, I thought I'd start at 1980 again because where the video I did before was about... Can you turn it up or down one more, please? I just did. Yeah, okay, it's on fire. That's an odd number. Sorry, I have a weird thing about odd numbers. Yeah, didn't have to look. <laughs> <laughs> I glanced over the corner of my eye. Anyway, um, I thought instead of just continuing on the franchise from three or four years ago um i would start it again because if i look back at the videos and i compare them to what my musical taste is like now it's definitely changed a lot i mean some of these albums they may have been in my original list in fact i can i can tell you some of these were in my original list of my top 10 of 1980 um but I just thought I might as well start again because if I go through each year, there's a lot of albums in those lists that I would have taken out or that would and put other albums in. Does that make sense? I know you're a hand talker, but could you do Woo! it? Woo! So I can't see it, but it's really bit lost. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so I, where my taste has changed so much, I thought it'd be best to just start all over again um so i'm gonna start with 1980 i'm gonna go through each year of the 80s mm. until i get to 1989 finish at 89 and then after that if there's any more years you guys want to see videos of let me know down in the comment section below and if i if it's within my power to do so then your wish will be my command um so yeah anyway let's get on with this list because we're five minutes in i've not shown any albums yet and jenny is tickling my back with her toe 
I'm oh, sorry, I kind of itch. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, five minutes. Sorry. Five minutes in, and I've not shown any albums yet. So let's get into it. Um, I'm not going to talk about any honorable mentions because basically uh, this is my list, my opinion, my thoughts. If there's any albums here from 1980 that you really love that aren't on this list, think of them as honorable mentions. Um, but yeah, these are the albums from 1980 either I listen to the most or I have the most sentimental value with or I just generally think that they are the best albums from 1980. So let's get on with it uh coming in at number 10 the police zenyata mondata uh this is obviously the album that has don't stand so close to me on it uh dee doo doo dee da 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 um voices in my head is also on this album um i really like the police i definitely think they're one of my favorite bands I need to get back into collecting Sting solo stuff because I have one of his solo albums and I think Sting is one of the most talented musicians um, out there, in my opinion. This is definitely a good album. Not my favourite from The Police, but still a good one at that. Um, you guys should know this one if you know um, music or, well... I would assume everyone knows this one anyway, because Don't Stand So Close To Me was a pretty big hit and is still played on the radio today and I think still used in a lot of um, TV shows and movies and I'm sure it made a lot of people's um, COVID-19 playlists at some point. Um, what? Limited in COVID. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Ugh. But yeah, um, Zenyata Mondata, very, very good album. I wanted to place it higher, but listening over it, comparing it to the rest of these, um, I think it's at the best spot it could be at um, when I look Stop. Sorry. at the Stop. rest of these albums. Anyway, um, so that's The Police coming in at number 10. At number 9, XTC's Black... C album, um, actually an album I only discovered I think either earlier this year or later last year, I didn't really check out XTC before, um, but I really like what I've heard from them so far, um, I've only listened to two albums all the way through, um, but I would really love to check out the rest of their stuff, they seem pretty cool. I know some of the albums aren't as great as others, but this is definitely one that clicked with me a lot. And yeah, just a, a fantastic album from, from start to finish. And this album, I think I listened to this one first out of the two that I have. And this is the reason I'm getting into them more and wanting to check out more of their discography because I really dug this album. And yeah, it, it, it's just incredible. And uh, yeah, Black Sea by XTC is coming in at number nine, at number eight. And a lot of you regular subscribers are probably going to ask why this album is so low on my list. If you know me, you know how much I love this artist. This is my favorite artist of all time. But Stevie Wonder's Hotter Than July is coming in at number eight as my eighth favorite album of 1980. Um, Honestly, I did want to put this higher, and I near, very, very nearly did, um, but uh, I think what stopped me is this is one Stevie Wonder album I don't go to as often as others, and again, the seven albums above it on the list, I definitely do spin a lot more than this one, um, although this has Master Blasters jamming on it and Happy Birthday. Oh, and Rocket Love and All I Do on this album. Um, it's definitely, it's not an album I tend to spin very much. I mean, obviously it is Stevie Wonder's best 80s album. It's definitely one that I think gets overlooked, especially because a lot of people maybe don't like the song Happy Birthday. 
Um, I really like it, but I mean, it's not for everybody. A lot of people think it's a cheesy song, but when you look deeper into the meaning and who the song is actually about um i think then you'll kind of understand a bit more about it but yeah a lot of people refer, refer to it as cheesy because it obviously gets played at every single birthday party out there but yeah i really do like this album it's literally just this low because i spin it less than the seven albums that i've put above it um seven blondie auto american i would have to say this is probably my favorite blondie album i know putting this above parallel lines is very controversial but for me it this is where it's at with blondie for me obviously raptures on here tide is high the writing is red which is really hard for me to read um And uh, there's not even a track listing on the back, so I don't even know why I'm trying to read it. Um, but yeah, Blondie's Auto American, easily my favourite Blondie album. It's the first one I heard from them, it's the first one I picked up. So obviously it's going to be the one I show, one I have more sentimental value with. And uh, yeah, just a very, very, very good album. So what was that? That was seven. So six is the Jacksons with Triumph. Another really solid album, Can You Feel It, Heartbreak Hotel. And you haven't done five, have you done some seven? Oh, no, sorry. Ignore me. Um, yeah, Can You Feel It and Heartbreak Hotel are the two big songs on here. Obviously, if you know this album, you know it's a very solid... There's not, there is no filler on this. In fact, I wouldn't say there's any filler on any of these. That's why they're in the top ten. But... For me, it just comes, like I said, it just comes down to which ones I like more, which ones I spin more, and which ones I just think are better overall. And as much as I love this album, and it is definitely my favourite Jackson's album, uh, I just couldn't put the five, I, I couldn't put these next five albums anywhere below, below this one, so yeah. Love the Jacksons. Love this album from the Jacksons. It definitely helps um, show Michael Jackson's um, vocal ability, especially in the song Heartbreak Hotel and Can You Feel It? I think as as a single, as singles, they are fantastic. Um, number five, George Benson, Give Me the Night. Yep. This, I'm, I can tell you for sure, this one was in my original list. Um, another personal favourite of mine from this artist. Um, I think Quincy Jones' production on here is at it's some of its finest, definitely in this era. I love Quincy Jones' production. I think he's one of the best producers that's still alive today. That was producing back then, even way back into like the 60, early 60s, he was producing music. Um, but yeah, again, another one with so many good songs. Love Times Love, Off Broadway, Gimme the Night, um, Midnight Love Affair, Turn Out the Lamp Light. Just absolutely solid album. Really, really good. Obviously, some people may prefer other George Benson albums. It depends if you like his jazzier era or his funkier era. Me personally, I got into his funkier era. I've grown up around his funkier era. So that's the stuff that I listen to more. Um, but I am still getting into his jazzier stuff. Um, still, so, I mean, his, my favourite... George Benson album could change, but as of when I'm filming this, this is the one that um, I love when it comes to um, George Benson. At number four, you're probably not going to see it because um, there's nothing on the cover. I'm joking. It's ACDC's Back in Black. Uh, again, this actually isn't my favourite ACDC album. 
I prefer a little bit of their later stuff and some of their earlier stuff to this as well. Um, but it's it's a, one of those albums where you just can't go wrong. Um, obviously, opens with Hell's Bells. Have a drink on me is a great song. You shook me all night long and the title track are all great. Rock and Roll Ain't Noise Pollution is another great one. Just a really, really solid album. And again, I do spin this one quite a bit compared to the rest of these. Um, but there is one ACDC album. Actually, maybe a couple of ACDC albums I put above this one. Um, but still, uh, definitely a fan favourite from ACDC for sure. You guys know it. It's the first album after the after Bon Scott unfortunately passed away and then Brian Johnson came in. So yeah, there's that one. At number three, Bob Marley and the Wailers Uprising. I do love Bob Marley, one of my favourite artists. Um, I, and much like the ACDC album, this album actually is not my favourite from Bob Marley. It's not nowhere near, but that is not meaning it's not it's that isn't taken away from how good this album is could you be loved and redemption song are both on here um coming in from the cold i really like which opens this album um zion trains are another really good one that i that stands out for me on this album yeah just really really good stuff from bob marley um yeah Another artist. I know. I'm surprised as you are. It's such a. It, it, <laughs> I'll get my word. I will get my words out eventually. I promise. Um, Bob Marley is one of those artists I wish we had around a bit longer because I think he was just coming into mainstream and we unfortunately lost him to cancer. Um, about it was it? I think it was about eighty four. I think, but yeah, just a really, um, just a shame he he left us so soon. But yeah, just a really really good album from Bob Marley and the Wailers, and I put it at number three because I'm all I do play Bob Marley Bob Marley's music quite a bit. Um, so I did want to talk about his album at some point and. I put it at number three for this video because I definitely think Could You Be Loved is one of my most played Bob Marley songs, like, ever. Um, but the rest of this album is, is just incredible. Number t Now, number one and number two were really difficult to place because I love both of these albums and I think the one I spin you know whichever album could be number one depends on what mood i'm in as of when i'm filming this however this is the order i've gone with and uh, it really does pain me to put either of these albums not at number one but someone's got to miss out on the number one slot and this time it's going to be remaining light by talking heads love talking heads they're one of those bands where i think Everyone, either everyone loves them or they have an album by Talking Heads that they know like really well because they're one of them bands that have always changed their sound. Um, Once in a Lifetime is the big track on here as well as Houses in Motion. Um, Great Curve. Cross-Eyed and Painless. Born Under Punches. Just a really, really solid album um cannot fault this at all it's literally just because i had to put an album at number two and this one just missed out because i think the album i put at number one maybe my favorite album from this band if not definitely my second favorite and is one i know i play a lot and although i only added it to my collection earlier this year um I've spun it loads, and I always listen to this album a lot digitally anyway, and that is Get The Game by Queen. Um, we all know the song Another One Bites The Dust, which is on this album. 
with the really funky bass line. It was their introduction into the... It was their... If you saw Bohemian Rhapsody, you know the story behind it. Um, they were a rock band, rock music at the time. It wasn't really being played in clubs. It was more disco and more dancey kind of stuff. So they wanted to record a track that was that could be played in nightclubs, and that's where another one bite the dust came from. Um, a crazy little thing called Love is on here as well, which I really like. Play the game on here. Save me, yeah, just a really really incredible album. I had to get it in there once in this video, didn't I? Um, but yeah really love this album think it's really really good i think all of these are really good um it's pained me to put any of these albums less than number one or not put them higher than what they are but yeah i had to put, i had to put them in some kind of order and this is what i've gone with so the game by queen is my number one album of 1980 um I definitely think it's an album I play a lot. I listen to Queen a lot anyway, so I mean I listen to Talking Heads a lot as well, but um, but yeah, I definitely think that's Queen's best album from the eighties. That might be argued, um, but once I have all their studio albums, I will do a ranking of Queen video of um, Queen albums. So um, keep an eye out for that video. At some point, I don't know when that's going to come. There's still albums I'm missing of theirs. But hopefully eventually, I will get around to doing it. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. Sorry it took a little bit longer to get through this than I originally anticipated. But Sorry, I kept talking. Yeah, we're finally at the end of this video. So I hope you guys did enjoy this. Um... Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new here, and make sure the notification bell is switched on, so that way you never miss an upload. Um, I want to say thank you to everyone who's subscribed recently, and who's been subscribed for a while, and just keeps coming back and commenting. I appreciate every comment, I try and reply to every comment, whether it's right, or, it may not be right away all the time. Um, but I do like to reply to every comment that I get. And uh, I like to listen to suggestions as well. So if there's any videos you guys want to see, do let me know. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for more videos because I will be doing my top 10 of 1981 at some point in the next couple of weeks. So keep an eye out for that. And with that said and done, that is it for this video. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. And I'll see you all again very soon. Bye. Bye.